Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you see in my comments with my picture and a variation of my name. Please know that that is not me. That is a scammer. Please don't fall for that garbage. Y'all, if you didn't see this morning's video, please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good information on there for you, and I don't want you to miss it. Okay, y'all, we are going to talk about Social Security in just a minute, but first I want to cover a couple of other little things. Uh, we all know Pinocchio Biden lied about giving out $2,000 stimulus checks and a raise for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. These were all just a bunch of campaign lies to get your vote and it looks like it worked uh, we've also heard about politicians that are starting to get threats for backing Biden's bill that don't help the American people at all y'all this bill is just fancy rapping I mean they call it helping the American people, but it's just a fancy wrapper for the Joe Biden's Green New Deal. Another thing, the biggest problem right now is gas prices because of Joe Biden's closing the Keystone Pipeline. Now he wants to close yet another pipeline. So what does he think is going to happen to the gas prices when he closes another pipeline? It's going to go up even higher. But he don't care because he, he don't have to pay for his gas. The American people pays for his gas. Y'all believe it or not, everything that we depend on revolves around the price of gas. Okay. On Social Security, y'all, I am writing another letter and I'm sending it out tomorrow. I will be sending a copy of it to Joe Biden, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Manchin, and Mitch McConnell. And I'm going to send one to Camilla Harris too. I don't know why I'm sending one to her. She probably don't know how to read anyway. But this letter is focusing on gas prices and how I believe gas prices in the an increase in gas prices is 100% Joe Biden's fault for closing down these pipelines. But mostly this, this letter will be focusing on the lies that Joe Biden told the American people to get elected into office. I also will be giving him hell on helping the illegal criminals with so much money and resources but not helping the American people very much at all. And y'all, you should know me by, that, by now. In this letter, I am not being nice at all because nice just don't work with our lawmakers. They don't understand nice. They see nice as weak and I am not weak. In fact, my wife is worried about this letter. She thinks it may get in trouble for some of the things that I say in it but I can't help it. The way I see it, I am a free American with freedom of speech and I have a strong backbone to say everything the way I see it. We have way too many people right now trying to sugarcoat everything, not to hurt anybody's feelings, not to offend any snowflakes. Well, y'all, I don't give a damn about the snowflakes i'm going to voice my opinion and i'm going to voice my opinion hard when it comes to these lawmakers again i want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel i really do appreciate you so i have a letter going out in the morning some people may say letters don't work to them people i will say how does sitting back taking whatever they want to give you, taking it up the old bungholio, how does that help? I mean, how is that working out for you? 
I mean, you say letters don't work, at least I'm doing something. How many people can say they've written a letter? A lot of people say they've written a letter, but they really don't. Y'all, the only way to get help is to make some noise. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. At least I'm trying. The people on Social Security, SSI, and SSDI, VA are hurting. And if we sit back and do nothing, it's the same thing as we're inflicting the suffering on these people. And I will not do that. I still encourage everyone to write letters, make your phone calls, and please don't be nice. These lawmakers do not understand nice. I mean, the nice ship has sailed. It's hardcore now. Y'all, if you don't do anything, if you just sit back and take whatever they're given, then you're the biggest part of the problem. I don't want to be the problem. I want to be the solution. Y'all, I have every address and every phone number that you need in the description box below this video. Please get them and use them. And remember, if you don't get involved, if you don't write letters, if you don't make the phone calls, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. All you need to do is just sit back, be quiet, and take whatever they give. You have no right to complain if you don't try to fix it fix the problem and I will try my damnedest to fix the problem y'all they have to soon do something for the American people the American people has been put on the back burner long enough and these people on Social Security SSI SSDI they don't know where their next meal is coming from a lot of them don't and a lot of them don't know how to pay their rent next month a lot of them don't know how to catch up their rent a lot of them are facing the streets. But most young people are just worried about what am I going to buy my kids for Christmas this year. Christmas is the last thing on my mind right now. My Christmas gift is waiting for me in heaven. People's got the wrong attitude when it comes to Christmas. Y'all, if we don't do something now, we may not make it till Christmas. A lot of people will not make it till Christmas because that's how bad they need help. So please, get those phone numbers, get those addresses, write your letters, make your phone call. And a lot of people have given up on voting. If you give up on voting, you give up your right to, to voice your opinion. Because if you don't vote, my, if you tell me I'm not voting, my next response to you is shut the hell up then. Don't complain. You have to vote. Y'all, we got so many armchair people that has a solution for every problem, but then they don't want to get involved. They don't want to write letters. They don't want to make phone calls. They don't want to get out and vote because it's a little inconvenience. Well, I'm sorry. You have to do these things. It's your duty as an American to do these things. I mean, yes. How do we know what lawmaker to vote for? How do we know what politician is honest? We don't know. We have to make the best educated guess that we can. But now, if we choose the wrong one, we don't vote for them again. We vote them out of office the next opportunity we get. Term limits is one thing we'll never see, so we have to make term limits ourselves. We have to vote these lifetime politicians out of office. They have come complacent in their job. Just like an employee, if you got an employee like working in a kitchen or something and he's been there for 20 years, he's become complacent. He don't think he can be replaced, but everyone can be replaced. Don't ever fool yourself into thinking that I'm here. They can't do without me. They can do without you, and we can do without these lifetime politicians. We need to vote them out of office, and we need to do it in the midterm elections, and if we can't do it there, we have to get them in the 2024 elections. 
And oh yes, it's definite. The Democrats is going to lose control of the House, the Senate, and the White House. That's done. I mean, there's no turning that around. They've already sealed their faith. Y'all, if you want your comments put over on the We the People website, please start on by saying We the People. We will put it over there for you. Also, check out the We the People Facebook group. Both links are in the description box below. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders, even though they're not leading. Prayer can turn anything around, and it will turn this around also. Y'all, say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know, I love you all. Until next time, ciao.